and welcome back to another episode of Map with Sewn. Today we are going to be ordering the angles and the sides in terms of which ones are the smallest and which ones are the biggest. Now, in case you didn't know this, um, there is a special relationship with uh, how much somebody can eat with how wide they can open their mouth. Um, and the same is true with triangles. If you have a bigger angle, it's going to open to a bigger space. Likewise, if you had a larger like opening, it would be because it had a bigger angle. So the smallest angle is always going to be opposite of the smallest side. And conversely, the largest angle is always going to be opposite of the largest side. If we had to order these angles from least to greatest that I have over here, well, I'm going to look at what is the smallest side then which is BC, and I'm gonna go across from that to figure out that angle A would have to be my smallest side. S excuse me, angle A would have to be my smallest angle. So angle A is the smallest because it's across from the smallest opening. What's the next smallest opening? That would be 10, 13 is gonna be the biggest opening. So 10 is directly across from the C. So that means that the next angle would be angle C. And then 13 is opening up from angle B. So 13 is going to be having our biggest angle, which was angle B. All right. Now this is a two-way street. If the uh, angles are determined by the biggest sides and the smallest sides, then the sides are also going to be determined by which angles are the biggest. So if we have... Uh, the shortest side is always going to be opposite of the smallest angle. And the longest side is always going to be opposite of the largest angle. And we're going to order these sides from least to greatest as well. So we have um, two angles provided, which we can find the third. If you have two angles in a triangle, you can always find the third by taking these away from 180. And if we did that, we would have 180, take away the 42 and the 103. And when you do that, I believe you would get 35 degrees. So if we have these two, now we know which one's the smallest uh, angle. 35 is by far the smallest angle. So F is the smallest angle and F is opening up and it's opening up to side ED. If you go across from that 35, that would be the shortest side because it is across from that shortest angle. So that means that side ED is the shortest. Well, what's the next shortest? Well, that's going to be side F to D because side FD is opening up from the next biggest angle, which was 42. So that means the next one's going to be FD. And last but not least is F all the way to E, that is by far the biggest. It is across from the 103. That is going to be the longest side, and that is side FE. All right. So we're going to do a few more quick examples of this, but these are relatively easy, and most of the time people just cheat and look for which one's the smallest side or which angle looks like it's the biggest. So ordering the angles from least to greatest, um, be careful because sometimes they change it from least to greatest to greatest to least out of nowhere. So just be careful. All right, so we're just going to do one more of these. If we have 24 here, that's the largest side. That's going to mean that angle N is going to be the biggest, but we're not looking for the biggest first. We're looking for the least first. Well, 17 is the shortest side. That is opened up from angle M. That is what is across from it. It is what is opening up to it. So that means angle M is the smallest followed by the one that is across from 20, which is angle P. That's the one that is across from it. It is the side that is not touching it. So angle P. And last but not least, we have angle N, which is opening up from the 24. So this guy would be the longest uh, side and therefore the biggest angle. All right. So that was an example of angles going from least to greatest. If we want to do some sides, 
no big deal here. We're going to just pick which angles are going to be the biggest and then arrange them from least to greatest based off of which angles are bigger and smaller. Well, if we take the 31 and the 57 and we take those away from 180, they have a built-in problem here. 180, take away 57, take away 31, you're going to get 92 for angle K. So angle K is by far the biggest angle, which means JL is going to be by far the biggest side. KL is across from the shortest angle or the smallest angle. Therefore, KL is going to be the smallest or least uh, side. After that, we have 57, which is going to go directly across from KJ. So that means KJ is going to be that medium side. And 92 is the biggest angle, so 92 is opening up across from, you can see how it's opening, to JL. And that means that JL is the biggest side. And we have our sides from least to greatest. That's going to do it for this episode. Till next time, I will see everybody later. Stay positive. Bye.